Rogue Species 7 here. How's everybody doing? So I just thought I would uh, come in here back to this game because it generated a little bit of interest. This is the planner. Um, the planner, the farmer, actually. <laughs> and it did generate quite a bit of interest, so I thought I'd come back and give it a little revisit. So this is the start of a brand new campaign, or not campaign, I'm sorry, brand new free play. And you start on the same map as you did with the campaign. Um, here's your small farmhouse and the little bit of extra goodies you can pile up around the yard. And they give you a single construction area to start. Your only real options when you start the free play um, there's sort of an easy, medium, and hard setting, and that's based on whether you want to start with 300000 500000 or a million dollars. So, as usual, I started in the middle. So, we have half a million bucks to spend. Now, the first thing that you want to do, once you have your uh, map up here, is go to your build menu, and... There's not, when you get right down to it, not a whole bunch of difference between going on big stuff and going on small stuff, you know. Um, so, if you can afford it, get big. The only thing you got to keep in mind is that, as the name suggests, big stuff is also physically bigger and you are limited to certain areas. So, the other thing I want to do right away is purchase the construction site next door okay and we can actually get on with our next building so the next thing the first thing I'm putting up there by the way the accommodation of course that's for your workers so we will want something for them to do once their accommodations are built so we will go with a cow shed and there's a fifteen thousand dollar difference between a big one and a small one so we will, uh, again, go with the big one. And we'll put him over here in our other construction area. There we go. So we'll let these build. Uh, that'll be a good start. And the other super critical will be a garage. Again, might as well go with the big one. And our big garage can go right there. Okay. So let's zip forward and get these things built. There we go. Those are all built. So now we have large accommodations. And the large one will hold, it looks like, about a dozen. Three, six, nine, okay, ten. We'll hold ten workers. We have our large cow shed, and we have our large garage. As you can see, our Tetris block is considerably bigger for that. All right, the first thing we're going to need to do here is hire us up some peoples. So, if we look to our job market, field work. Ooh, this guy's good at field work, and he's good at livestock for sure. Not good. All right, this guy is definitely good for field work nothing 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 and he's good for field work as well all right so we'll hire him we'll hire him there's our field workers now we need uh, livestock breeders and mechanics. That guy's good at machinery and livestock, but not super good. Ooh, this guy's pretty good at livestock breeding. And she's a good field worker. Oh, machinery. Hmm. That's the highest I've seen so far for machinery. All right. So looks like you. We're gonna hire as a mechanic. And uh, you're cheap, but you're not that good. That guy's a little better.
Hmm. All right, we're going to hire this guy. Now all we need is livestock breeding. This guy's so expensive, though. So, who have we got that's good at it? You're not terribly good at it. You're pretty good. Hmm. You're pretty good. In fact, we'll hire you. That's one. And... Livestock breeding. Come on, I need some breeders. <sighs> hmm. Can't say as I'm impressed. Well, I guess we're going to hire you even though you're expensive. All right. That should take care of our initial needs. Yeah, okay. Now, oh, right, this is a big barn. We actually need a couple more people that are good with livestock. Not you, not you. Hmm. If you're not great, you are. I guess we hire you. <laughs> and you. Okay. Now, if we come into here, we can find everybody that was good at livestock breeding. You. For one, you, you, and you. There we go. Okay. Now we have those guys in place. So the other four that we have open are our two mechanics and our two field workers. So now we'll get these guys started. Buy a cow, buy a cow. We can put up to 17 in here. We're going to buy 10. There we go. And we are going to start fertilize, fertilize. Uh, 1.8, he'll do. I'm going to hit the youngest ones. <laughs> and, okay. Well, I guess we can hit everybody. Look at that. Okay. Get those guys underway. Now, we could use some fields. And I think... Sure, we'll start with this one. Okay. And this one. Okay. Now, we need machinery. So, we are going to go with, now there's a big jump <laughs> in machinery prices. A uh, $30,000 difference between a small tractor and a large. So we are going to purchase two small tractors. And we are going to purchase a small reversible plow, a small seedbed cultivator, and a small sewing machine. For harvesting, we need a small baler purchase, a small grass cutter, and a small trailer. Okay. And we are going to require this, this, and this. Oh, I think I already did that, didn't I? Okay. I believe that what we're going to find now is our garage is pretty much full. Well, pretty much. So, we can probably Tetris a few things into a little bit better areas here. move him out of the way for now. Put this up here. And here. 
this in here. Okay. As I say, you can Tetris things a little bit. Now we can purchase that, and it will fit in there as well. So the only thing we don't have are our harvesters. So those we are going to build a small garage. Uh, cow sheds, where are we here? Large garage, small garage, purchase. And we're going to put him right there. And then we can purchase um, our harvesters. In the meantime, we can take our field workers and get them started. There we go. You start plowing that field. And as soon as that other one is ready, Fact, seeing as it's just a plow. Uh, there's our other field worker. Let's put him on a trekator. Let's give him a plow. Let's send him on his way. There we go. And our second garage is just about built. And he's just getting to his field. <laughs> Okay, now that our second garage is built, we can buy our little combine harvester. And small loading wagon. Okay, I believe that we now have pretty much one of each to get us through. Okay, good. So, there's that garage, there's that garage. The only thing we don't have yet is storage. So we will build silos. One. Two. And that one. Okay. So hopefully they'll get some silos built for us. The other type of storage that you need is um, silage bunkers and storehouses. So storehouse we can purchase. We can put him right there. That's a large storehouse. And our bunker we're going to put right here. There we go. Let's let all this stuff get built, shall we? Okay. So, small garage built, large silo complete, large silo, large silo. Oh, and plowing is now finished. So this guy, we can move along to seedbed preparation. Okay. Give him a tractor, give him that, send him on his way. Yeah, that's a nice thing, this guy's not quite finished, so hopefully the other guy will get a little bit of his done in the meantime. And uh, we won't have to have two absolutely everything. Okay, what do we got? Large storehouse building is complete, perfect. So all of our storage is now built, large bunker silo is complete. Perfect. Everything is built. All right. Now we just need these guys to get through their field work. So, one cannot help, of course, but to make comparisons between this and uh, Farming Giant. You know, it was basically, as far as I know, you know, this being a tycoon-style game, um, I think it was pretty much the only sort of tycoon game for farming was Farming Giant. Um, industry Giant to a degree, I guess. In all honesty, Farming Giant's probably a little bit better game. 
it doesn't look nearly as good as this. Um, it is, unfortunately, uh, being a UIG product when they were still under Actologic's wing, it is buggy as heck and don't ever expect it to get any better. Um, but it has more depth to it when you get right down to it. Um, when it comes to things, like this end of it is pretty much identical. Everything you've seen me do so far, you would pretty much do exactly the same in Farming Giant. The differences. Well, the differences is, is Farming Giant takes care of the numbers a little better. For instance, once I harvest these fields, I will put them in the silos, just as I would in Farming Giant, or pretty much any farming thing. Um, difference being, it won't tell me how much is in the silos. It won't tell me how much is in my bunker or my large storehouse. Um, the other thing it does is when you go to your trade market and take an offer and accept it, it doesn't tell you what percentage you've delivered, how much has gone in, and basically what it is, does sorry, on this final delivery date, like here we got the 24th of uh, April, right, 2013. Well, on around the 23rd, you'll get a little message pop up saying a truck has arrived, and it's arrived to pick up these goods. And then you get paid for them when he gets back to wherever he has to go. So, you know, it's, uh, in Farming Giant, it would actually show you, okay, you had 380 meat cows to deliver, you've delivered 140 of them. Um, so you have this many left, right? And this is how much of a penalty you'll pay based on how many are left. This one doesn't do that. It does actually show you a reducing penalty. But beyond that, yeah, it doesn't really explain to you why. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't say, okay, you know, you got to get another 75 cows to this guy or you'll pay this penalty. So, yeah. Okay, now we need a two peak. And I think we'll go silage on our first one. There we go. And they're both off to do their thing. So this part of it works rather well. Um, nothing going on with the cows yet? No? They're just, uh, just making milk. Cool. Cool. We have no young yet. Could probably get a few more cows in here. We've only got 10 of 17. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, sure. And let's fertilize, 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 and fertilize. Perfect. Because we can fit up to uh, 15 young, right? So I can have up to 15 cows fertilized at any one time. So, these guys are doing their field work. The cows are there. And uh, I think we'll call her good. This will be sort of a little miniature walkthrough because I think what I'll do is I'll do a few episodes of this and then I'll do a few episodes of Farming Giant. Um, providing I can get Farming Giant to run for a few episodes. So that is the downside of it. Like I said, it's an earlier UIG title and prone to the sort of bugs that all their titles were, unfortunately. So, yeah. There you go, guys. A quick look at it. Um... Like I say, we'll do a few episodes here just till things progress a little bit, see if anything else different happens. Um, you do end up with some reasonably detailed stuff. I mean, they didn't can all the details. I'll give them that. Like your, your field readings here, you can see with the potassium, the phosphorus, and the nitrogen. Um, there are different ways to adjust that, etc. And we will get into that as they come up, which they will. You only get a, a seeding or two into these things before you really have to worry about this. So, but until that, folks, at that point, folks, I think we're going to uh, call this one here. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will get a little more in depth into this. Um, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. And if you're so frustrated with Farming Giant because of the bugs and the crashes, etc., this is, uh, this certainly will scratch the itch that Farming Giant will. So, until next time, folks, this has been Species 7. You've been watching The Planner Farming. And, uh, well, take care of each other, enjoy your weekend, and ciao for now.